I don't know. I kind of want Bakari. I can't lie. I'm going him. I like the blind side prediction. Bakari? Yeah. Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. Oh, Bakhtiari. You know <laughs> my fault. My fault. My fault. Nah. <laughs> nah it's gonna be I knew what he I meant. I, I didn't names. know. So, yeah, I was I thinking about yeah. Bakari Rambo, the Bills old safety who picked off Aaron That's Rogers what everyone else was thinking game. too. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay. Say it for me again. I got to get this right. Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. All right. I got it from here yeah. on out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stay Hot. I am Bladen Kirk, joined by my two favorite co-hosts, Theo Ash and Matthew Sponauer. How are you guys today? Doing fantastic. I'm wonderful. Love to hear it. Matt, I hear you're having your bathroom renovated. Is that right? I'm having my bathroom renovated, and the people listening might also hear. Um, so if you hear any loud clanging that sounds like my house is being destroyed, don't worry. It's supposed to be like that. Matt couldn't Understand. pay the bills, and the bank has come to tear his house down. He's <laughs> lying about the bathroom thing. Tearing it to the ground. <laughs> yeah, he's staying in there to the last minute. He's not leaving. <laughs> going down with the ship. <laughs> he's going down with the ship. <laughs> I love it. As always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, whatever you can do. We're on Apple, Spotify, YouTube. We always appreciate the support. And if you haven't yet, please follow Stay Hot Pod on TikTok. We have some awesome content coming there as well. Um, from our listener mailbag on Friday, we had a question about a sleeper startup draft. Um, we aren't going to necessarily do sleepers, but we are going to do a startup draft. And I think it will give you a taste of what each of us believes in, you know, in terms of value in building a team. And it gives a little bit of perspective on, you know, which teams now are doing a great job in longevity for their franchises. Uh, but before we dive into all that, we have to talk about uh, Theo's heartbreak in the <laughs> Phoenix Suns. Um, Theo, do you want to just go on a rant? Is that, is I don't that really have that much for... to say? I'm just sad. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone in the Bucks is taller than us, and we were playing good defense, and they were just hitting everything. Like, I didn't even think yeah. like the Suns had anything really to be ashamed of in the last performance. It was just the Bucks just hit everything. So, like, you know, maybe they win game six and then there's a game seven and we'll see, like, you got to win it one at a time. Um, I don't anticipate the Bucks to continue shooting quite like they did in game five. But at this point, I can't say I'm feeling overwhelmingly confident that they're winning two in a row. But, you know, it doesn't whoever before. wins this series, you know, it's either Rodgers gets a ring or the Suns get a ring. So at least it's to the Bucks. If Are you lose. like, is it really going to warm your heart if Aaron Rodgers gets a Milwaukee Bucks ring? If it'll it'll warm my heart for the Packers Twitter accounts that I follow, and it'll warm my heart for Giannis to get a ring, and it'll warm my heart for uh, the citizens, mostly for the citizens of Wisconsin and the Wisconsin for sports fans to finally see a W. But I would much rather see them get their heart ripped out by Devin Booker and eaten in live in front of them as he wins the next two games. Um, but if they don't pull it off, I won't be too, too, too choked up just because it's the Bucks. The one thing that I thought was crazy about that game is we were this close to the Giannis choker narrative coming back in full force. Drew Holiday doesn't get that steal. Devin Booker hits a shot that like it would be Giannis missed two free throws and right. the Suns sealed the game. Um, that's the fun about them. play. That's yeah. the fun about the playoffs and that playoffs creating narratives. The regular season doesn't matter. Oh, the playoff is, is all that matter. And then it's just like one little moment like that. That's that's part of why I don't love the NBA everything. the same way I do NFL. It's just because well, the regular season even more really in the NFL doesn't matter. Because, well, it happens even more in the NFL because like the sample sizes in the playoffs are even yeah. smaller. So yeah, I, in the I NBA, honestly, it makes a little bit more sense just because I do think the best player can put the team on his back a little bit more and there is a little bit of a bigger sample size. I mean, there's, there are more games played in the NBA playoffs than the NFL like total. So I don't know. Right. Speaking of that though, like one player putting the team on his back, we got to get into this draft and we're not, we're not drafting one guy. We're drafting a team here, man. I'm taking Matthew with my first pick. You already know. <laughs> it's a good choice. Because he's, he's putting the team on his back. Okay, so the way the this is room. going to work, the way this is going to work is we're going to do a snake draft. Um, all players who are in the NFL are fair game. So if you wanted to take Richard Higgins, you could take Richard Higgins, and I wouldn't be mad at you. Um, you know, you can take a rookie. You can take Tom Brady, the old man himself. Um, then at the end, we're going to tell you our team names for these startups. 
Uh, they cannot be a city that has a team, and it cannot be a team name that already exists. So as much as I would love to just be the Cleveland Browns, apparently that's not allowed, which I consider a crime. Um, so basically, we're going to choose one quarterback, one running back, three pass catchers. Doesn't necessarily have to be a receiver. could be a tight end. Um, and one offensive line position. And then we're choosing four defensive players. Our producer is going to come on and ask us questions we are unaware of to determine the draft order. Um, I, I think he's going to ask how many yards per target does Rashard Higgins have, um, but I could be wrong. So, producer, talk to me. You are you are wrong. Um, the question in a uh, the closest to this number is what we're going for here. How many yards after the catch did Naeem Hines have in 2020? <laughs> he oh, God. Had... Um, Don't Google it, Dave. He's literally Googling right now. I can <laughs> see it. I can I see it in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes. You're I Googling literally it. have my almanac out in front of me that would answer I this hate question. You. Okay, I, I won't. You. I haven't looked, though, so I, I'm not cheating yet. I'm going to guess that he had... 458. Oh, we're going for total, not average. Oh, wait. No, that's yards after catch. Yards after so the catch, total in 2020, yes. Oh, total. oh then it wasn't okay, 400. Then. It was probably, I'm going to say 300 and 19. <laughs> I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with 372. I'll go with 320. And the winner is Bladen. Naeem Ooh. Hines had 476 yards after the catch last year. Oh, wow. Year. We all <laughs> went so low. Hines, Those, is, so, Hines is underrated. Hines yeah, I is like a Hines nasty a lot. running I like back. Hines. Yeah. Really good. Shockingly good. So the order is Bladen, then Matt, then Theo, then we'll snake back around. Am I on the clock? Am I on the clock right now? Yes, sir. You're on the clock all when right. you see fit, sir. All right, with the first pick in the 2021 Stay Hot Draft. I'm going to let you finish, I'm, but what did we say the team names? No, we're That's doing last. that at the That's end. Oh, yes. my fault, my fault, my fault. Yeah, dude's like not listening. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. With the first pick in the 2021 Stay Hot Draft, I am selecting Patrick Mahomes. Fair enough. Because why would I yep. pick anyone else? <laughs> that's the right. That's probably the correct answer. <laughs> why would I pick anyone else? Um, I could sit here and, and elaborate on Patrick Mahomes. Um, I don't think anyone cares. It's it, everyone knows he's the best quarterback in the NFL. I don't have to elaborate on that. Uh, I'm going to take the best player at the most viable position. That's an easy choice. So I'm next. Yes. This is a tough one. He's going to take it? who I want. I know it. Oh yeah. Matt, why is this a tough one? I'm just going to do it, man. It's no fun if we all draft like expected, right? Second pick, I'm going Aaron Donald. That's who I was going to take. You had to take a quarterback. <laughs> all right. But you now you get your guy. Look, the reality is, is that we're only drafting three quarterbacks. Um, so see, everyone's yeah. getting a great quarterback. With... A player like Aaron Donald, there's no one who could, like, he's so much better than every other defender I could get. So maybe, maybe I don't get Aaron Rodgers, I get Josh Allen. I think the dis difference between those two guys is smaller than the difference between an Aaron Donald and, you know, that's actually a smart pick. I third like that best strategy, guy or man. fourth best guy I, like I would get. Strategy. Yeah. I was not put a little bit more thought into his pick than I did. <laughs> I was thinking that same thing with Donald and like someone's going to get, you know, there's only three quarterbacks coming off the board here. So you might as well, you can wait and still get a top three quarterback. Um, that being said, I am going to take Rogers just because I think the gap after Mahomes and um, Rogers is a little bit severe. Honestly, I think that there's a lot of question, like there's Josh Allen and he's a little bit of like, is he a one hit wonder? There's Lamar Jackson where it's like, you know, is he someone who is going to return to MVP form? You know, there's Tom Brady, who's old. There's Russell Wilson, who seems to kind of fall apart over at some stretch of the season at some point. Um, so I do think there's actually a little bit of a fall off between Rodgers and well, the third best guy. 
I just I'd like for my team to get past the NFC Championship. So I don't know. <laughs> With the team I'm about to draft, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. So I'm gonna take Aaron Rodgers, and Rogers then I'm gonna is, take Rodgers is gonna make you so happy, or you're gonna make Aaron Rodgers so happy. Well, I'm gonna t- you have you have uh, back to yeah, back two picks. picks in a row. I'm gonna take yeah. Aaron Rodgers, and then I'm gonna take Miles Garrett, who I believe is the second best oh. defensive player in the league after <laughs> Aaron Donald. I'm and so mad. Again, coming so from mad. that edge rusher spot can disrupt the passer on every single snap and is going to be super valuable to the defense. Yeah, I hate you. Good. I'm having trouble with this next one. There's a... Um, Are you going to take a quarterback? You need a quarterback. Why would I take a quarterback? At some point. I guess you don't need to. There's only... I'm not taking a quarterback to my last pick, full disclosure. <laughs> that's fair. What are you guys going to draft Josh Allen? And that's probably might, who I'm going to end up going with I might, eventually. I might put him at running back. What are you going to yeah. do about it? Nothing. <laughs> that actually wouldn't be a bad pick. Pick Josh Allen, move him at running back? Hold on. <laughs> Got two quarterbacks on the field. I don't know. This one's tough. I can't think about this forever. I'll just do it. Um, I'll go Jalen Ramsey. Okay. Fuck. You know. <laughs> you can't I, say that. <laughs> Go to hell. You can bleep me out. Just, Yo, sorry. I, Matt, <laughs> what's up with you? You know, first Theo takes Miles Garrett, then you take Jalen Ramsey. Like, what are well, you doing? I was going to take Garrett. That was a good pick. Theo, are you, are you guys Garrett reading next. my mind? Like, is this what this is? No. It's funny. I, I'm trying to build like this super team. My first two picks, same, same team. <laughs> yeah. It says a lot about the Rams. <laughs> I, I, keep ta- I keep saying the Rams have. The two best defensive players, in my opinion, in the NFL, Ramsey and Donald. But it is what it is. I'm not. I'm not mad. I am a little mad, but I'm not mad. Um, I guess with my. I guess with my second pick, um, I'm gonna take. Whew, this is tough because I wanted Ramsey. I wanted Ramsey bad, and I could. I could come back around, and take uh, the second best here. corner. Do you? I don't. You have, you do yeah you have two picks in a row it's a snake draft oh shoot that's right I do have two picks in a row oh this this makes things interesting go running okay back. first pick I'm taking Jair Alexander um second pick I'm taking this is the tough one give me Devontae Adams the Packers go pack go yeah I take the Browns guys you take the Packers guys Matt took the Rams uh, Matt, <laughs> Matt took the Rams. I'm gonna pick a Panther please <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna keep it real with you I don't know if any Panthers are coming off the board yeah I mean listen I I thought about taking Tyreek I did um you know give Mahomes his guy um but come on man Devon I know I know Theo you've been a big you know fan of like saying Tyreek Hill might be the best receiver in football um, which he's definitely up there, but I think like Devontae Adams, Deon- or yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, those are probably my one two. Um, and I, I think I don't know if I can pass up on either of those guys. And you know, given the opportunity to take maybe the best route runner in football, I, I gotta, I gotta. I also I, think that Jair has a very solid case for best corner in football. I, I think that is, I, I know P- PFF likes Ramsey. Jair a lot. PFF um, likes Jair. That dude's a, just a monster, and I think that he's a little bit more. I want to say focused than Jair uh, than Ramsey sometimes where Ramsey will kind of get caught Ram- Ramsey gets a little too physical and it, and it can sometimes. cost him but. but they're both they're 1A and 1B in my opinion so totally fair all right so I guess that brings it back to Matthew Sponauer I'm, I, I've got I've got a team build in mind now I have something in particular we're doing um, so this next pick might be a Matthew little goofy <laughs> He's taking a Panther. That's what he's doing. I'm not taking a Panther, unfortunately. He's going to take Cam Newton. Stop. <laughs> Someone stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to intervene. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Kittle here. Ooh. I think that scary. physically, there just aren't many tight ends who can do what he does. Uh, and Kelsey's super nice too, but uh, the blocking and the physicality and the full game from him. There just isn't any other player that's doing what Kittle does. Uh, I think he's one of the premier players in the league. Uh, so I don't have a problem with drafting him as my number one pass catcher. 
I'm going to take Joey Bosa and I'm going to take TJ Watt and I'm going to have Joey Bosa play three tech and he's going to be inside and then I'll have Garrett and Watt off the edges. And that is okay. going to be my um, three out of my four defensive players. So, so Theo's building exactly like Tampa Bay. Pretty this much, yeah. Tampa Bay through and through. Okay. So, this dude said, the Packers lost to Tampa Bay. I refuse to let Aaron Rodgers suffer that same fate. I again. think that, I mean, I think that secondary and front seven is about e- of equal importance to me. Um, but I do think that there's some value. I assume that because we only get four defensive players. So I'm assuming the rest are just kind of like league average. Like they don't suck like a bunch of average players. Yeah. It, um, it's like, um, uh, Mutt, like Madden. Uh, draft champions or whatever. Yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go with the stack this defensive line real quick. And I think I'm going to be in one high. I'm going to be playing cover. I'm going to be playing like, I know I'm not, I'm going to go too high. I'm going to be able to throw extra defenders out there and I'm not going to have to worry about defensive players as, or uh, defensive backs as much because I can throw so many of them out there while still getting pressure. I mean, in this case, rushing three. So I think that having that stacked defensive line, and I still got one more defensive player to go, um, is going to be a, is going to be a good, good strategy. I don't disagree. Um, with the way the board's fallen, I'm just going to take, I think a player that people would really like to see taken at this point, Deandre Hopkins, if he hasn't been selected. Yeah. Um, elite pass catcher. He's. I, mean, it, I, I was. It was a toss up between wait, wait. him and Adams for me. So like, yeah, I, that's that's what I was thinking. We're getting pretty. We, we all have to draft three pass catchers. We're getting pretty far into the draft, and there's still a guy who's arguably number one as a pass catcher in the league right now. I think that's a pretty fair pick at this point. Uh, I don't know if he. I mean, he. I was going to get an elite wide receiver regardless, but we're going to get. So you're going to get an elite playmaker. He's super great, so I have no problem yeah. with it. And you have a you have another pick or no? That's me. That he gets back to. No, I'm the picks. only one who doesn't get to pick two times in a row. Yeah, that's it right. It kind of sucks. Was, it is what it is. You know, um, you shouldn't be mad at it. Uh, I'm not mad at it, at least. So let's see. This is a little bit of a tricky spot I'm in. So Matt's taking quarterback with his last pick. I think I'm going to end up taking running back with my last pick. But at the same time, the offensive line is average, and. You know, we're de- if we're dealing with an average offensive line, I kind of want to get a guy who ensures that I can break off long runs even with an average offensive line. And I think there's only one, maybe two guys I can think of that do that. But we'll, we'll see if I come back around to them. Um, I think I might, have to, uh, I might have to follow in Theo's lead and get uh, an elite... Edge defender. Theo, can you say who you took again? You took Joey Boza and TJ Watt, right? TJ Watt is gone and, and Miles, Miles Garrett. Garrett is gone. Okay. So that leaves kind of Khalil Mack, I would yeah. say. Okay. Yeah. I just had to make Don't sure. Help him. Don't help him. <laughs> no, I, I just had to make he said it fast. I just had to make sure that I knew who he took. Uh-huh. Um but no, I'm taking Khalil Mack as as one of mine. And then I have another defensive player. You know what? Give me Chase Young. Give me Chase Young. Young run stopper, I like it. And Khalil Mack can teach him the pass rush a lo- Like, <laughs> this is the first <laughs> pick that I like disagree with. Yeah, Re- although you don't like I Chase love Young? Chase Young, I you understand. Don't... I just don't think okay, that he's the best pass rusher. Would you rather me take in? I mean, who? Okay, there's I mean, a little bit of a drop off after Mack Watt. That's what Garrett. I'm saying. Yeah. Like, what, what, do we, what do you want me to do? Take JJ I Watt? Live your like, life. <laughs> There's J.J. Watt, there's Zadarius Smith, there's Daniil Hunter. I could see Zadarius Smith. Um, I could have taken is... Brian Burns, I guess. Brian Burns <laughs> you could have taken have Brian there. Burns. Yeah. Um, I think Brian Burns <laughs> is a little bit better than Chase Young at this moment in time. But, uh, Fuck that talk. But yeah. I don't know if that will continue. I'm building for now and right building now. for the future, you know? I guess. I well, guess I can see it. <laughs> Did you? You took, um, you took Nick Boza, right? He no took one. T- I took Joey. I took Joey. He took Joey Bosa. I'm taking Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is also probably better than. Yeah, I'm Chase taking Young. Nick Bosa. That's, That's fair. fair. Um, Nick Bosa is kind of like amazing, honestly, <laughs> and I think he belongs in that top tier of pass yeah. rushers. Um, I think so too. That wasn't who I was originally going to go with. I can't lie. And then, for some reason, he slipped my mind. Probably because he was hurt all last year, but. Um, 
I kind of think he's better than Joey Boza, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It, 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 it's tough. <laughs> Theo and I both shook our heads like, eh, maybe. Uh, no, Joey Boza is pretty. Fan. Joey Boza is kind of a menace. I like I Joey Boza too. <laughs> Joey Bosa's game versus the Bills that he had this year was the best game that any defensive end played by far this year. He had something, put up some ridiculous numbers, like had like 12 tackles, three sacks, tons of tackles for loss, fumble recoveries, fumbles forced. And I think when he's healthy, he's got in very serious case for like best edge. And that's the problem with both of them. They just can't stay healthy. Right. It's miserable. It's bothered me for years because I mean, Nick Bosa was going, he would have had a shot at like, one of the best defensive seasons of all time in college football at Ohio State if he hadn't gotten hurt. He yeah. was going nuts. Um, but I'm sitting here with Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Nick Boza on the defense. I'm pretty I'm pretty thrilled. I'm going nuts. <laughs> I'm going to take Grady Jarrett to round out my defensive line. And those are my four defensive players. Um, I think Grady Jarrett has... Um, I think he... Ha- I can't remember exactly. Or maybe I'll take Buckner. Actually, I'm going to take Buckner over Grady Jarrett. I think Buckner. I just I forgot about Buckner. Pick. I changed my pick. Buckner is my pick. He's the second best defensive tackle in football. Um, you're not going anywhere with Bosa, Buckner, uh, TJ Watt, and Miles Garrett on the defensive line. It's over for everyone. And then I'm going to take who I believe to be the best, maybe, maybe the best skilled position player in the league in Tyreek Hill. I think that there's no one more unstoppable and there's no one better at creating separation effortlessly. There's no one better that's, that's after the catch. Is hard. There is no is one hard. who does more. <laughs> there's no one who has more plays that no one else could do than Tyree Kill. And I'm going to take him. And that is that. <laughs> I, I, I like, think I that like he, the Tyree Kill pick. His game yeah, changing too. speed. Yeah, like, I don't know. He no, just, he's nuts. He he's is, underrated right now for sure. I think he is. He, I, he's, I think he's the best top wide receiver five, in the Easily league. top five, maybe top three. Um, I'm sitting here. I'd like a defender at all three levels. Um, so I'm thinking linebacker, but I, I'm having trouble deciding exactly what to do. Uh, cause I might go Bobby Wagner. I'm about to say Wagner, I would say is the best linebacker in football. Yeah. Barring maybe Fred Warner. That's what I'm, I'm a little, I'll go Wagner. I'll go Bobby Wagner and round out my defense. Give me Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Nick Bosa, Bobby Wagner. That's pretty strong. That's all yeah. NFC West, isn't it? You got your <laughs> NFC West. <laughs> That's crazy. Defense. Proof yeah. that the NFC West is uh, the I, best. I have only players the from the division. NFC West. <laughs> oh, right. I have you Kittle have and DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins. And Kittle. <laughs> you just got the, the NFC, NFC West, West. Dream team. <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw out one more name? I would say I thought about picking him briefly. I would say Kendricks. Eric, Eric Kendricks, Kendricks is yeah. also up there. I think Warner. Eric Kendricks, and Kendricks is super underrated. I think Part of this, Kendricks I'm thinking about like underrated. what Twitter will say about it. <laughs> so you like, can't let them make your decision. No, oh, I'm no, letting. I them mean, make Bobby my Wagner decisions. is Bobby Wagner is a baller. So. No, I, I I also just Bobby Wagner's been doing it for so long. I mean, he was so good that even when Keekley was in his prime, people were still talking about Bobby Wagner maybe being the best linebacker. Although, I think Keekley was better. Um, and he, the Seahawks play against – back like when Cam Newton was still on the team, they always used to play like every year. It was always a bloodbath because Wagner was so good. And he has got to be the absolute most annoying player in Madden to play against. Every time somebody is the Seahawks, it makes That's, me mad. It's he wrong always because is that fumbles. answer is either – Well, the uh, Ravens, but Lawrence. I play as the it's, Ravens. Okay, Lamar Jackson is one. Demarcus Lawrence, the – Cowboys defensive oh. end rocks me every time we play. And so does Cameron Jordan on the Saints, but especially oh, yeah. Lawrence. Yeah, those, those two, two guys those two get me all the time. But yeah, <laughs> I play as the Cowboys sometimes too. They have a pretty good roster on 20 and that's the most recent one I played as. But yeah, um, I like the defense. I like Bobby Wagner. It's a good pick. Well, I have two picks back to back. First, I'm going to take Theo's guy, AJ Brown. Um, I need an, I need a guy who's decimating after the catch and uh i can't take tyreek hill so i'll take a guy who can just break tackles in the open field and then with my second pick um un- a little unconventional but i want to run i want to just run man i just want to run man all day on defense i'm taking marlon humphrey uh, i didn't get my fi- i didn't get my physical guy in ramsey give me give me the before other Exav- physical guy <laughs> before xavier howard yeah i i, okay. I think Xavier Xav- howard's good 
I, I like Xavier Howard a lot, but I wanted a physical corner opposite of Alexander. And I don't think there's anyone more physical other than Ramsey than Marlon Humphrey. Bladen, how many pass catchers do you have? I have two. I took, I just took AJ Brown. I have just so have I, Tyreek. I have Devontae Adams. You just have Tyreek. Yes. I'm sitting here with a, with a <laughs> tough decision to make. <laughs> Please don't do it. I know you're going to do it. You're going to do it again. Well, okay. I need an offensive lineman, a pass catcher, a running back, a quarterback. Yeah. I don't know how much I want to. <laughs> this is a dude, This is a tough one. Actually, I can't lose no matter who you pick. So yeah, I'm good. no. There's a, there's still a fair amount of decent players left. Believe it or not, fair amount. There's a lot of there's a lot of really good players left. <laughs> See, this is gonna make such a great like Twitter poll. It's like whose team is better. You know what? I wasn't thinking them until now. Um, but with the quarterback that I ha- I'm probably going to end up with, I think I got to – you know what? I'm going to stay on brand. No, I'm going to stay on brand. Travis Kelsey played for Cincinnati. <laughs> and he's NFC You're going West. two tight ends? Correct. Dude's literally, I guess. Dude's, so dude's literally building like the NFC West plus the Browns. <laughs> Just a mil- – or no, dude's what like the Patriots. What team do you guys think play? Travis Kelsey you're, plays You're the Patriots. For. You're the Patriots. Or my bad. Yeah, AFC West. I'm I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, this I'm dude, gonna go, this dude's if you're building gonna take, the Patriots. A million tight ends in a great take, defense. If you're gonna take Kelsey, I'm gonna take Stefan Diggs and I'm gonna that's, pair him up that's with That's who I was deciding with. That and was And so we got the between. unstoppable deep threat, and then we got again an argument for the best route runner in the league for those reliable if we need those reliable ten yard gains. Plus we got the playmaker in Tyreek Hill. So I'm going to start off with taking Stefan Diggs, and then I'm going to take, uh, I guess I will take Waller before Blading can get him, um, because Waller is <laughs> the last big tight end left. I guess you could maybe count Pitts if you really, really love Pitts, which I kind of do. But Waller is proven. I love Waller. He was my pick for Offensive Player of the Year prediction. I think Waller is at the exact same level as Kelsey and Kittle, pretty much, um, minus maybe some blocking uh some blocking prowess, but as a receiver, I'm going to throw him in the slot and we're going to have Waller in the slot and we're going to have Stefan Diggs and we're going to have Tyree kill and the best defensive line ever created. And we have Aaron Rodgers, and we're winning the league every year. Yeah. Um, currently mad at Theo. We're not on top. <laughs> so it's my terms. pick right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Does anybody select an offensive lineman? No not one yet. has. Um, Which it, it's like, how, what are you supposed to do? Cause you can only get one. So it's not like you're like pressed to get an offensive lineman. That's very true. But that's also something you would say to me if you didn't want me to pick an offensive lineman. Pick an so offensive lineman then. I'm going offensive Go lineman. Go and um, I'm having a hard time deciding between Quentin Nelson and Bakari. Um, but I feel like your team needs to have a brand going to pick a guard you're not going to pick the best guard in the nfl matt i, th- I feel like i'm going to go with quentin nelson assuming that the rest of the offensive you line is like the good. second best guard in the nfl this is weird. average we're assuming the rest of the offensive line is average it's like like fine yeah you picked the second best guard in the nfl why if you're going to pick Pretty a guard grand. you pick wyatt teller man yeah, I'm You're going. Um, it's actually, it's actually Zach Martin or something. It like is that. actually Zach Martin. <laughs> um, I don't know. I kind of want Bakari. I can't lie. I'm going him. I like the blindside prediction. Bakari. Yeah. Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. Oh, Bakhtiari. You know <laughs> I mean. My fault. My fault. My fault. Nah. Nah. It's gonna be. A I thing. knew what he I meant. I, I didn't names. know. So, I was I thinking know. about yeah. Bakari Rambo, the Bills. Old safety who picked off Aaron. That's what everyone else was thinking game. too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, say it for me again. I got to get this right. Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. All right, I got it from here yeah. on out. Excellent. Nice. Well, Matt, that's definitely a good pick. Um, would like to point out that the blind side, as we know, it doesn't really exist. But that's a topic for another day. Um, just to recap to where we're at at this point, only Theo and I have quarterbacks. He has Aaron Rodgers. I have Patrick Mahomes. Matt has no one at quarterback. No one has taken a running back, which is kind of expected at this point. Theo has Tyreek Hill, Stephon Diggs, and Darren Waller as his pass catchers. Matt has 
George Kittle, DeAndre Hopkins, and Travis Kelsey as his pass catchers. And I have Devontae Adams and A.J. Brown so far as my pass catchers. Matt is now the only one with an offensive lineman as he took Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. And uh, Bakhtiari. And then uh, we all have most, if not all, of our defensive players, I'm pretty sure at this point. I have all mine. I'm pretty sure we all have all of ours. Uh, Theo took Miles Garrett, Joey Boza. Um, remind me who was the uh, who you took? Uh, who was the corner? And then I got Buckner and TJ Watt. You, you didn't you didn't take a corner? That's right. You took Buckner and TJ Watt. Matt took Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Nick Boza, and then Bobby Wagner to get an elite linebacker. And then I took Jair Alexander, Khalil Mack, Chase Young, and Marlon Humphrey. Needed a physical corner. So now is it is it my pick? Yeah, I have you two got two in a row here. Two in a row here. This is this is a tough one. Because I don't have a running back. I still need a third pass catcher. And I need an offensive lineman. So uh I think I might I might save offensive lineman for last. I think that might be what I do. Do what you gotta do. I am gonna do what I have to do. My third pass catcher. Man, I, I could go tight end, but I don't have George Kittle. I don't have Travis Kelsey, and I don't have Darren Waller. I could go Pitts, and I like Pitts. But I don't know if I like him more than, like, another top 10 caliber receiver. Um, that's, that's really the biggest problem here. I think, you know what? I want Julio Jones. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be a menace at receiver. I want Julio Jones, and then uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my running back. Give me Nick Chubb. My my line's gonna be average. I know Nick Chubb has. I've seen Nick Chubb run behind average oh, yeah. to below average offensive line. He's a menace. I want. I want Nick Chubb. I can't hate the Nick Chubb pick. Uh, I'm sitting here. I need quarterback, running back. But the other two guys already have their quarterback. So unless uh, Theo drafts Josh Allen to play offensive line. Uh, it would be stupid for me not to go running back here and at least get my choice of two guys. Um, as is with the brand that I'm going for, I got to go Derrick Henry here. Um, so big, so strong. <laughs> What's yeah. not the no, love? This was, that was your chance to take a Panther and take McCaffrey. I wanted to, but it, what I'm going for is, is more Derrick Henry based. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just... I respect it. I like the I like the broken tackles. I'm gonna have to uh, agree with Theo here. It's cool when running bre- uh, running backs break tackles, and that's what I want to see. Cool. Nick Chubb does that. Nick Chubb does. And Derek, job see Derek Henry, like Christian McCaffrey is amazing, but Derek Henry is like scary. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's fair. Um, that's fair. That's fair. Like uh, I couldn't tackle either of them, but I'm pretty sure Derrick Henry would like run me over and kill, kill me. me. So yeah. I don't know if you if you met Christian McCaffrey in the A gap. He might Stop. go down. Stop. He might go down. No, I would. First off, I probably, I probably wouldn't touch Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey. No. You wouldn't get into the A-gap, A. But maybe if you did get into the A-gap no. and he was there, you might trip him up. I don't know. No. I've got... I'm, I'm keeping it real. No. I think Christian McCaffrey... I, this is a well-known take of mine, is that I think Mr. Christian McCaffrey is slightly overrated, but he's still in that top tier of running backs. Yeah. And then it's my pick, and I'm going to take... I'm going to take, I'm debating between Dalvin Cook and Alvin Kamara. I'll say that right now. Um, I don't think either of them are huge workload running backs um, like Henry is. He's the best in the league, in my opinion, just because I feel like he is also just like the healthiest. Um, I think I'll take Kamara just because I feel like he's got that pass catching ability um, and I do think that he is a little bit healthier year to year than Dalvin Cook is. So I will take Alvin Kamara and I then I will take Kamara Zach too. Martin, the versatile lineman who is all pro caliber every single year of his career, um, played tackle this year, stepped in there just fine. Um, incredible future hall of famer that, you know, I, he's Zach Martin. I don't I, know what else I, I will, ever, I will give you that. He's been doing it at an all-pro level every single year. I assume he's going to do it again. Yeah, I, I would agree that he is the best guard in the league. I don't know why. Quentin Nelson just came to my mind first. Probably Quentin Nelson is not a bad pick at all. I just no. Quentin like, Nelson, no, Quentin Nelson is... That's kind of, I think, a very similar situation 
with like uh, the running backs where it's like, like the gap between them is so ungodly small that it really doesn't matter. Like you can, if, yeah. if there I'll is say Zach one Martin. thing that I would take Quentin Nelson over, it's like Zach Martin is really, really good and has been for a long time, but Quentin Nelson's scary. If Quentin Nelson <laughs> runs at you. Like, <laughs> you know, you're getting pancaked. If he comes like pulling guard on the right side, like it's over. Yeah, I would. Yeah, you can't go wrong either way. I would just give the small edge to Zach Martin just because I've seen the versatility a little bit more. That's what I was thinking. And he's just been doing it for a little bit longer and just like has more experience seeing like, you know, what things are. And you can maybe argue coming off an injury, you would take Quentin Nelson. But uh, I'm going to take Zach Martin. Just my two cents. I like my team and I get to pick the players. That's I I, I do want to understand your thought process here. You guys both went guard. No, he ended up taking Bakhtiari. Oh yeah, no, that's right. He ended up going tackle, but he, he contemplated guard. He contemplated guard. What was the theory behind wanting a guard? So you want a guard inside. Why not guard? I I don't know. (laughs) But like, why not? It's just one offensive lineman. I don't know. I'm just picking some of the best guys. It's hard. Um, which kind of makes me want a center, but (laughs) Anyway, with my last pick, quarterback, I've been basically drafting the entire team for him, uh, Josh Allen. He plays he plays so much like Cam Newton, man. It's the closest <laughs> thing to a prime Cam Newton that we're ever going to get. Um, and he's he awesome. He really Cam. was awesome last year. Anyone trying to tell you otherwise is lying. And the ability to run is so dangerous from a quarterback. Uh, when defenses have to keep track of that. And now I've got two uh, I've got two tight ends. I'm going to be huge out there in these two tight end sets with Derrick Henry. And then you're also going to have to worry about Josh Allen keeping the ball himself. I don't know how you can stop that. I don't know how you can stop that. So. With my defensive line of four all pros, that's how you stop it. Yes, nope, sir. Not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's knocking the ball off. All right. <laughs> well, I guess that leaves me with the... Uh, with the last pick in the draft. And I'm going to take the actual best guard in the NFL, <laughs> Wyatt Teller. Wah, can't tell wah, me, dude. Wah, you, can't, wah. <laughs> you can't tell me he wasn't a monster last Crickets. year. Crickets. He was. <laughs> he, was he, he was a monster. A monster. No, I, I love Wyatt Teller. I, I do also, I, I love Batonio. The whole Browns offensive line, you know, really good last year. Um, I also was kind of leaning... Uh, uh, what's his face for um, San Francisco? Trent Williams, you know, at tackle. Trent Williams has a health issue for me, though. So I, I, I wanted to feel a little more secure with the best guard in the NFL and give myself Wyatt Teller. I'm ignoring health. Draft. <laughs> it's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> but will Twitter ignore health when they vote for the winner here? And. I got to say that I have the best team. I, th- I feel pretty confident. That I mean, when we're all going to say that we have the best team. When Who's the gonna- voting, <laughs> when the voting opens, if my team does not, does not get the love from the fans, I will be surprised. I think your team, I, by the way, is named what? Since we're all finished up draft and we got to well, say, let's, the team let's do a quick now. recap. Let's do a quick recap. Each of us recap our team. Um, see who we all have. All right. So, you know, should I go first since I had the first pick? Yes. Yes. Okay. Quarterback, the Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Running back, the Nicholas Jamal Chubb. I- I'll go faster. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pass catchers, I have Devontae Adams, uh, A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. An offensive line, I have Wyatt Teller. And on the defensive side, I have Marlon Humphrey, Chase Young, Khalil Mack, and Jair Alexander. Theo, why don't you go other B minus? Sh- <laughs> you know what? F. <laughs> Best quarterback in the NFL. All right. My team was is led by Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. The pass catchers are Tyree Kill, Stefan Diggs, and Darren Waller. Um, at running back, I've got Alvin Kamara. My offensive lineman is Zach Martin. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I went all defensive line and took um, Miles Garrett and TJ Watt to come off the edges. And then I'm throwing Nick Bosa or Joey Bosa, that is, at the three tech. And I'm playing DeForest Buckner at the one tech. And that is my defensive line. Uh, secondary, 
I don't know who they're getting out there, but their jobs are pretty easy. Hopefully, they don't screw it up for me too massively. So, what are you just running like cover four? Are you running cover four? We're running game? cover four. We're running whatever. <laughs> we're running dime. We're running you know, prevent. Running we're running dime. prevent, and we're gonna get. We're still gonna lead the league in sacks. <laughs> he said uh, he's running prevent. Just like <laughs> six to six DBs on the field, seven DBs on the field. I mean, that's what the Rams did last season, kind of like they. That was kind of their philosophy: is throw yeah. a bunch of good you know or they had Aaron Donald obviously they were also havoc. they were also a little bit deeper in their secondary and they played a bunch of dime because they could because Aaron Donald could get pressure by himself in this case it's just gonna happen I mean you're not gonna be able to make a throw that's fair for my team I've got Josh Allen at quarterback Derek Henry at running back George Kittle DeAndre Hopkins and Travis Kelsey catching the passes David Bakhtiari on the offensive line. And then on defense, I've got Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Nick Boza, and Bobby Wagner. I'm a big physical team on offense. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to stop me running. And I think Josh Allen um, is so versatile as a quarterback that this offense is really threatening. I know a lot of people are going to say I should have gone with only one tight end. Um, but I, I like, I love two tight end sets. I love them in Madden. I love them in real life. Um, so <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Sue me. Uh, and then on defense, I think that I have arguably the best pass rusher. I have arguably the best cornerback and I have arguably the best linebacker. So, um, that's pretty fair. solid. That's fair. The, that the is and fair. I didn't take linebacker. I thought about it. I thought about Warner and Kendricks pretty hard, but we got the team names. Now I was going to name my team, the Phoenix suns too. Um, because, <laughs> but then I learned the rules that they can't be in a city where they already, there can't be a city that a team already is, but this team is going to be located in downtown Phoenix and the Arizona Cardinals are located in Glendale. So this is not a city where there is a football team. Okay. They're not in Phoenix. So I get to keep the Phoenix name. That's a loophole and they can't be a team already. So instead of the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to have to name them the Phoenix guns and they're the phoenix guns and um that's the football team the that's new violent. football the new ex- <laughs> the new expansion team uh for Theo, me you think you, you you think you got crazy with the finagling wait till you hear this all right <laughs> i couldn't do the cleveland browns which is normally what i would do but then i realized that the browns are in berea Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to be Cleveland. Idea. <laughs> no, but, um, I am going to pick a, 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 a city similar. New Cleveland. There is new Cleveland in Ohio. And, uh, we're going to be the new Cleveland. Cause I can't be the Browns. The new Cleveland oranges. <laughs> this is like the lamest, <laughs> baddest thing I've ever heard. The Phoenix Guns. <laughs> Say that for to the, the Phoenix the Guns when they beat your when they beat your team in to a pulp. And I think uh, I think we were supposed to go with a, a state that doesn't have a team. Oh, I, um, that's not what I. So read, I, 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 I think um, you guys are just being lame with my team name. Um, you know, I'm a Carolina fan, but I'm from South Carolina, and the Panthers are in North Carolina. So I went. You didn't with, get that much more creative, <laughs> like. I think, well, at least my team has like a name that isn't directly from the name of the team that I'm, (laughs) it's not like, yeah, some ripoff team. Uh, I picked the Charleston Palmettos because a while ago we were talking about how it would be cool if there was like a a football team with the South Carolina state flag as its logo because the South Carolina state flag is like the palm tree and the crescent moon and it looks really, really cool and clean. Um, and Charleston's just a cool city in South Carolina, so that's oh, cool. Oh, I just okay, I'm of changing name. my team name. Can I change I'm my cha- name? Can I change my name? <laughs> I thought of a better name. Yeah, go for it first, Blaine. Uh, okay, I'll go first. So, um, we're the new Cleveland Dogs. D A W G S. That's worse. Like, that's the, even more of that's, a ripoff. That's better. <laughs> that is definitely better. That is definitely better. I got my better. team name. Look, I I thought I made a video a while back how I thought the little nicknames and the mascots were kind of dumb and childish in in the oh NFL and in American sports. He's just like we got be, people drafted to the Dolphins. We got people drafted to the Minnesota Wild. So, and if I'll change the state, I won't be a ripoff to Phoenix. I'll go with um, Iowa, and I'm just going to be 
Des Moines. <laughs> Des Moines football <laughs> club. Because <laughs> uh, that's the closest state Theo. to Minnesota that uh, does not have a football team. I, so. I, I think this should affect the voting. I think you guys should get less votes because of this. I'm going to be completely honest. The Des Moines football club <laughs> is what I will change my name to because n- no team wants to, no player wants to get drafted to a team called the guns. And uh, <laughs> that will not, be not to be a chance. hater, but are they like dying to go to Des Moines? Yeah, they are. It's a I've never been to Des Moines. I guess I can't speak on it. All right. Well, uh, I think that wraps up the team. Uh, make sure you vote for me, uh, Bladen Kirk, and the new Cleveland Dogs, because um, we're the best team here, obviously. And uh, I think we have a stay hot shot coming this week. Stay hot shot coming this Thursday. And we're going to be talking to some fantasy sleepers on Friday. I know you guys are starting to gear up for your drafts. So uh, we'd love to help you out with that. I know Matt's big into fantasy. Oh, yeah. Um, he's our big fantasy guy over here. Tons of content coming your way on TikTok as well. YouTube, the podcast channels, everything is coming together. We're super excited. Don't miss out. And again, from Corn Boy, from Dunk Boy, and from your Lemon Boy, we'll catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs> <laughs>